All right, looks like I'm shooting a little low. And uh, so let me see how I fix that here. Uh, I've got five more. I'm gonna shoot on target. Hey, okay. So out here in the pistol range, and uh, I have my uh, Smith Wesson 910. So I thought we'd shoot it. I, I need to get it out on the range. I don't think I shot it at all last year, and it's a uh, it's definitely a handgun that needs to. I feel I should shoot at least once a year because it's it's really it's fun to shoot and it does a great job. So uh, anyway, let me. Let me run through a few things about it and then uh, give you a good look at it. It's um, first I'll show you there's no magazine and it's unloaded. So, um, and so here it is. Yeah, this is the Smith and Wesson 910. It, uh, the 910 is the variant off of the 915. They're called part of the value series or the third gen of the Smith & Wesson semi-autos. And um, the value series means it's got more plastic parts, but it still has metal and aluminum. It's got metal slide and aluminum rails. And so, uh, or maybe I got that backwards. Could be the other way around. But, um, but anyways, it is, I mean, it feels solid, feels heavy. Um, and I've never had any, any issues with it. Uh, a little bit about the gun. Just run through a few things for you. Um, I, I did a Wikipedia. And then I also found online, which I thought was really cool. It was a gun review done in 2016 on the, Smith Wesson 910, and it's a, it's a good read. If you're thinking about getting this gun, and there's plenty available, and they're, um, and I say they're plenty available, police trade-ins and such, so, and then people sell them online and stuff, so you're not gonna find them new. Um, so that's part of what I need to run through you. The, so yeah, they were made, the 910, which is what I have, was, uh, started ma being manufactured in response to the, um, let me get the name of the act. Let's see, it's called the Federal Violent C Crime Control and Law Enforcement Act in 1994, which put a limit on magazine size. And so 10 round magazines became the norm. And so this is Smith & Wesson took their 915, which was the value series that held a magazine held 15 created a new magazine to hell 10 and sold it as the 910. And they sold that from 1995 through 2006. Other article I read said 2004. Uh, obviously they were later, you know, replaced by, you got the MMP series and a bunch of other weapons came out, um, you know, uh, polymer based that really got rid of this, the heavier metal, um, uh, sidearms like the Smith & Wesson. Um, not that it's really that heavy, but, you know, it's not polymer. So there's a bit of a difference. So, um, anyways, um, yeah, weighs 28.5 ounces. Not that bad. Got a four inch barrel, um, shoots nine millimeter, nine, nine millimeter, 10, 10 round magazine. 915 was nine millimeter, 15 round. There were three, it's weird. You go through the history of the Smith & Wesson semi-automatic uh, numbering systems. First gen were two numbers, second gen three numbers, third gen was four numbers, except for these variants, 910, 915. I don't know why, it's just different. Uh, let's see, I do think if you take a look, it's got some really cool, hopefully you're getting a good look at that. See, it's got some good sights on it. Yep, nice three dot, right? So I like that. 
Let's see if I can get it lined up for you. There you go. And it is empty. That's the only reason I'm doing it like that. Um, it's got some features some people don't like. So if the magazine's disconnected, it won't fire. It's called a magazine disconnect safety. It does have a manual safety. It's on the left side. And so it is single action, double action. So you can switch to take your safety off. Then your first shot's gonna be double action, second shot, single action. So a lot of people would carry it this way, decocked. Anyway, I my personal opinion of this firearm, I don't I don't notice the I don't notice the cheap parts. Um, I, you pull a part of a, a polymer gun today, and you're like, the, I don't get it, you know. So, um, so anyways, I think it's a fine firearm. I think it's a great sidearm, and uh, it's it's easy to shoot, easy to maintain. Um, the the weight of it, I think, is balanced perfectly. It fits my hand really well, and so I I enjoy shooting it. So. Um, yeah, so we'll run through it and uh, let me take you along. I, I'm gonna try something different too, a couple different camera thoughts. And so maybe they work out, maybe they don't, but hopefully it does. All right, some Smith & Wesson 910, here we go. All right, still from seven yards. I'm gonna shoot at the, at the variety of targets. I got uh, seven rounds in each magazine. I'll do seven shots, drop the mag, even though it's all muddy reload and then shoot seven more we'll see how it goes all right i gotta remember to keep my nose up on this um that's why i shoot low so keep my nose up should be good All right, this time I'm gonna shoot from 10 yards, again at the steel plates and the clay targets. And I have it, I think it's first round, uh, magazine has six, the second seven, or vice versa. So anyways, I'll do the same kind of thing that I just did, different round count though, that's all. All right, we're up there. All right, I got this headgear on. I got five loaded each magazine. So I'm just gonna try a little different, see if I can get a, just a different little camera angle maybe. Shoot from uh, 10 or seven yards the first, five and 10 the second.
All right, we're gonna shoot at 50 yards. See if I can hit it. It's that plate sitting below the folded over cardboard. All right. I don't think I hit it. Got five more to try. Well. All right, I didn't do it, but I tried it. Hey, well, that about wraps it up. The nine uh, Smith Wesson 910. Um, I think it's a really fun weapon. Uh, I enjoy shooting it. Um, I feel blessed that I have one. So uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed shooting it along with me. Uh, I didn't do so good on the 50, but. Eh, take some practice. I gotta tell you this, since my shoulder surgery, shooting feels a hundred times better. What a difference. All right, so thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And, uh, and uh, one project is to define my shooting range correctly so I can get a full hundred yards. And so I'll do that. Take a lot of work, but it's got to get done and this is the year to do it so we're gonna do it and uh anyway look forward to doing that um like i said i appreciate you watching uh remember make kindness your business do something kind for people uh and it doesn't take much there's just a lot of little things you can do so strive to do some each day make the world a better place all right dave out